Hey guys, what's up? It's Zman6776 here, and uh, I am a little upset right now because I was about halfway through this commentary and my laptop shut off on me, so I have to start from scratch. And also, I have a bit of a cold right now. Uh, I got it from my siblings, which is kind of a bitch, but whatever. What can you do about it? It's just a cough and um, stuff you know, so nothing too serious. But anyways, let's get into the topic of the video. So, last night me and some friends were hanging out and um, we saw the Harden Edition and we just naturally started talking about Black Ops 2. And uh, more specifically, we got talking into the competitive side and um, how multi-game modes are going to work. So at GamesCon, we saw multi-team game modes in action and we saw basically two game modes being played. So we saw Team Deathmatch and we saw Hardpoint. And that got us thinking. Um, Multi-team game modes can be such a well, can be such a huge success. And that guy just got owned. But they have to make some variety because team deathmatch and hardpoint seem to be the only game modes that you can play. And it makes sense because let's face it, you can't play your search unless you alter it. You can't play your domination unless you alter it. You can't play your demolition unless you alter it. You can't play your capture the flag unless you alter it. And it, I hope this is what they do. So anyways, we got talking about game modes that they could do. And this kind of one we thought of, which we called Four Corners, kind of takes the place of Demolition in a multi-team kind of fashion. So this game mode would not be able to be played unless you're playing the multi-team game mode. And if you're not familiar with multi-team game mode, it is basically a game mode or game list, whatever, where you have more than two teams. So you can have four teams of three, or six teams of two, I, or I think that's how it works. But anyways, so this Four Corners game we came up with, basically the best part about this is that it forces you to play objectively. And that is a game mode that Call of Duty needs. Because if you aren't playing objectively, then you can't play. And that is actually so true. So let me just explain what I mean by that. So Four Corners takes the place of demolition in multi-team um, in these multi-team game modes we're playing so basically there are um, that guy sliding down the pole right there but um, this game would be best played with four teams so usually Call of Duty maps are pretty squared you know some of them aren't too um, too what's the word Rectangly, some of them are like circles, ovals, whatever. Some of them are just all over the place. But most maps, like the one I'm playing right here, Radiation, they're pretty rectangly. And you can fit four bombs in basically each of the corners of the map. So, your bomb is your lifeline. And uh, where that bomb would be placed is in your spawn. And um, so, each of the four teams will spawn in the corners. And, um,. Like I said, best. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I kind of woke up a couple um, about an hour ago, so so give me a little slack here. So, like I said, best played with four teams. So those four teams will spawn in their corner of the map, and that is where their bomb will be. So every team has their own bomb, and once that bomb is destroyed, the team is um, kicked out of the game. Well, not kicked out of the game. Maybe they go into some sort of spectating mode. But essentially, they can't play in the game, and they can't participate anymore. So, this opens up windows for things that are just crazy. For example, strategic play in this. Like, the amount of strategy that your team could put into this is ridiculous. So, maybe you want one person covering the bomb, and two people going out to hunt other bombs, and killing people who are camping their bombs, and blowing them up, and kicking them out of the team. And, um, so... Basically, just let me give you the rundown here. So, four teams. Obviously, that can be switched around. And uh, every team gets their own bomb. Now, the goal, how you win, is your team has to be the last man standing. So, what I mean by that is eventually, there's going to be two teams left. The other teams, they're going to have their bomb blown up. And um, it'll be kind of a 3v3 situation. So... Let me just regard some issues here. So, because every team spawns in their own corner of the map, 
it can be kind of easy to spawn camp. So if people just, um, if people are just kind of killing you, just getting the kills, not really playing objectively, which shouldn't really happen in this game because if you're if your whole team's in the corner and trying to spawn camp, some other team's gonna plant their bomb, their bomb's gonna blow up, and they're out of the game. So that's that's one solution there. But the second solution in the event of people trying to spawn camp you and before they get kicked out of the game because their bomb blows up because another team plants it, you will basically spawn in not another corner of the map, but somewhere in the middle, somewhere in neutral zone. And um, this guy right here, I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of doing a little sweet glide. <laughs> I thought that was funny when I was playing. But uh, yeah, so you won't spawn in the same core of your map if you got a team of three in there just going for kills. You'll spawn in the middle, and eventually their bomb's going to get planted, and it's going to get destroyed, and the team will be kicked out. So another thing with spawning here is that it would take the role of sabotage. So capture the flag has basically a 15 second wave spawn, which essentially means that every 15 seconds people are going to spawn in. Sabotage on the other hand has like a 7 second spawn and it's not a wave spawn. It's just when you die you have to wait 7 seconds. Whereas capture the flag when it's a wave spawn, it's like if you die you might have to wait 15 seconds or if you die you might have to wait 2 seconds. It's just how you know the cards are dealt now when you died regarding the timer so essentially I, I keep saying essentially I don't know what I'm saying essentially but what this game is is when I run this game through my head when I see myself playing it I think of just probably the most objectively game played game type that uh, there is because if you're not playing objectively you can't play because your bomb will get blown up and it's, that's if you let your bomb get blown up you're clearly not playing objectively but um, that being said think of all the other game modes that could be created with multi-team um, game lists and that guy just got wrecked so what I mean by that is at the start of the video I said that team deathmatch and hardpoint are basically the only two game modes that we've seen and are capable of playing multi-team that's just off the top of my head so just think of the creativity that could go on at Treyarch and to create multi-team game modes and just think how fun they would be I mean I know that it's my idea and I'm not I know that I'm trying to sell it to you guys and all that but just think of how fun this game mode would be and it's just the objective play in it is basically what makes this game so fun so if you're still watching uh, thank you if you like the idea of four corners please leave a like and um, yeah that's Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.